hello everyone welcome to the engineering projects youtube channel in this video tutorial we will discuss about select index change event handler which execute whenever you will change the index of combo box here i will execute the combo box with the demo item values so you can observe that each item is as treated as the index this is these are the four index when i will change the index from one to an other the select index change event handler will occur now go to the button for example click here and on event click in front of this to activate this event handler and we are going to perform a specific functionality whenever user will change the index of c sharp combo box now for example we want to perform a functionality as message box and say that index is changed so whenever index will change the prompt a message will show this message index is changed now execute here i have changed the index and index is changed now again change the index and index is changed mostly developer use this event handler to manipulate the data from combo box to another combo box such as I will take an other combo box and drag and drop it here and put some value in this combo box I will say that if the index is changed then value will be entered to combo box to item dot add values for example com2 val1 val2 and val3 now execute so you can see that here is nothing and when i will change the index the values occur here and when i will again change the index these value get replicate multiple times we can create the logics according to our needs and desire such as we will say that if this dot combo box one dot selected index to string is equal equal tep one uh, here we have to use parenthesis then add specific value to the combo box to combo box to dot items dot add a b c b and c and if combo box value to to e p two enter the value as d e f now execute if we will select index 1 the value will be entered as a b c it's not execute yet let's see what happen execute it again nothing will happen so we will store the value into variables here 
string a and b a is equal Execute this program. Okay, it's not working yet. We are doing a mistake here, which is that we don't need to call selected index, we need to call selected item. Selected item now it's okay because selected index will get the value in numeric form and selected item will get the value in the string form now execute and here we have selected index 1 and here is the value abc and here we have selected index 2 and here we have def values it depends on the logic which you are going to build according to the requirement of the desktop application which you want to develop. I hope this video tutorial is informative for you. If you have any kind of question you can ask us and don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel. Take care.